Recently, we glued in the Traveler Bulkhead into the doghouse. I actually built the Traveler Bulkhead many months ago, but that was only half of the build of the part. The other half is going to be actually installing it into the boat, which means laminating, doing a whole bunch of lamination to get it installed. It is a really important part of the boat because it will hold the main sail. It's the traveler will be on top of which is attached to the main sheet, which controls the main sail. So it's a very loaded part of the boat. It is a really difficult project because there's lots of different, there's different fiberglass types that go on to it. There is a lot of laminating. There's lots of corners and edges. I'd like to vacuum bag it. So it is a very difficult project to tackle. Probably as far as lamination projects go, it, it might be the, the most difficult one. So we're gonna try and tackle that this week and we'll see how it goes. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat into a comfortable cruising home. I encourage you to go back and watch episode 24, which explains in depth a little more how this bulkhead was designed. To get this bulkhead installed into the boat, I have a few laminating sessions that have to happen. First, there are six layers of unidirectional fiberglass that act as straps, holding the bulkhead down to the boat, and they are spread over four areas across the bulkhead. They wrap from the bottom forward side of the top and back down to the bottom of the aft side, and I'll do the first three layers first. And then there are five layers of 17 ounce biaxial glass that will go over the entire bulkhead extending down to the old bulkhead, basically down to the deck. After the first three unidirectional straps are on, then I'll do two layers of the biax, then three more unidirectional, and finally the last three layers of biax over the whole thing, and they taper up as they're applied. The biax layers on each side will wrap over the top and overlap each layer, which doubles the thickness of the biax on the top of the bulkhead. I hope this makes some sense. Therefore, this bulkhead needs to be laminated into the boat over four sessions. I began this first session wetting out the strap areas so the glass has something to stick to on the bulkhead. I wet out the glass three layers at a time on the table in the shop and took them out to the boat. At the last minute, in an effort to make things a little easier on myself, I made the decision to not go all the way to the bottom on both sides with the same piece of unidirectional. So you'll see here that one layer goes from the deck over the top and stops about 6 or 8 inches from the top. Then I do the same on the other side. This will double the thickness of the unidirectional on the top of the bulkhead, but will be stronger in the end. And I don't have super long pieces to wet out and install. I had all my materials pre-cut and ready to lay on as I went. and then I put the bag on. Last night I did the first of what will be four laminations that go onto this bulkhead, attaching the bulkhead to the boat. This first one I did is I'm putting these, it's unidirectional fiberglass, so fiberglass that's just going in one direction. The strands are just going in one direction. And the straps go up and over 
and back down. They go start at the boat, go over the bulkhead, and back down to the boat on the other side. And there's four straps. And so I did the first lamination last night. It's a the most difficult one I've had to do so far. And this first round of it did not go as good as I hoped it would. The lamination went okay, but getting the bag sealed was a lot harder. It did eventually get enough of a seal. Hopefully, we're not going to find any voids or anything when we peel this thing off. I think there's a hole somewhere around the perimeter. We're gonna. So we got to get a bet. Do a better. I have to do a better job on it the next time around. But uh, anyway, we're gonna pull the bag off right now and see how it looks. I'm just trying to be super careful taking this bag off because I really want to be able to reuse it. All right, here is the moment of truth. Fingers crossed. How is it? Um, it is... Okay, it's not great. Is it good enough? I don't know yet. What's the verdict, Timmy? I don't think it's a total loss. I'm very frustrated. I did that it. I spent as much time as I did on this last night, and it didn't turn out as I'd hoped. It's just a really difficult one, and I probably should have gotten help from somebody before diving into it by myself. But so this is the same like thing with the doghouse roof. If you work faster, there's less voids. You know, we have to get the vacuum bag on before it starts to cure and having that extra set of hands and eyes will help find holes in the bag and it's just having extra hands is better for the whole project. So when you say it's not a total loss, like, can you fix those? Are there a couple of voids that need to be fixed? Can they be fixed? Yeah, I need to grind them out because it, it's a void where there's no, where the glass is not adhered to the substrate so and it's not like because I know you have to do additional laminations on top of this anyway it's not like those laminations can kind of make up for a couple of voids right yeah because then like if oh, there's a void then it's everything you're just stacking up on top of it is not ad adhered to the substrate either right so you have to fix those voids before you <coughs> do the next lamination mm-hmm Back to grinding. Yep. Yeah. In another development, I went to Seattle for one day and look what I found in our yard when I got home. Our viewers, can you explain um, what I found in our yard when I got back from Seattle? Honey? Explain yourself. I got you a boat. <laughs> I don't think you got me a boat. I got Schmush a boat. This is La Paz's boat? Mm-hmm. So this is Al's boat. He is a good friend of mine. We've done a ton of sailing together, including the race to Alaska back in 2015. We did it on an F-25C just like this one. This is the same kind of boat as the boat that we did the race to Alaska on. And he just bought this boat recently. Looks like a spaceship. It does look like a spaceship. Why is it in our yard? Oh, it's in our yard because it needs some repairs, it has some deck repairs to get done. Okay. So we've not acquired another boat? We, not really. Temporarily? <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> it's another boat that we can use if we want to. Oh really? Sure. Al would let us use it? Yeah. Oh. 
This is this is a very different sailing experience than uh, even the honey. Hmm. You have a very um, mischievous look on your face right now. Is there something you're we not telling? We can go tear some up on this though. <laughs> <laughs> what plans are being hatched right now? <laughs> It's Matt's dad. Hi, Malone. He's counting. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. I was wondering why he was ignoring 37, me. 37, 52, 93, <laughs> 40. And it gets kind of milky like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. Like this yeah, easier. yeah, that's getting close. Yours is done. I am really lucky to have parents who are excited to come help me with these big projects. They spent the day with me cutting materials and then tackling the big lamination. This session is two layers of biaxial on each side of the bulkhead that overlap each, each other on top of the bulkhead. We had to work quickly as it is still pretty warm here and we had a lot of epoxy to mix and apply. Of course, all the materials are pre-cut and fit to the part before we begin and we just had to trim out the door as we went. how the Steverson family has fun fun time together. <laughs> family bonding over lamination. Famination. <laughs> Famination. That's a dad joke. <laughs> That's getting cut in Malone. <laughs> you don't get to make that joke in front of sixty thousand people. <laughs> Maybe you do. Last night, my parents were here helping me vacuum bag and laminate this traveler bulkhead. I did get a better vacuum on it, but it took forever for me to get that vacuum onto it. So hopefully it turned out okay, better than yesterday.
it's done. And? It looks pretty good. It's pretty good. It's definitely not my best work, but there aren't any like massive voids or anything. I could see a few little air bubbles here, little, little, little tiny pockets here and there, but this is a tough one. The lamination overall went well. We did a good job rolling out the fiberglass before we got the bag on. A couple spots in the corners lifted creating small voids and there I will grind out the glass and laminate over them. In the end, it will still be an extremely strong part. We have a few more new Patreons to thank this week. First, thank you to Dale and Liz who are good friends and neighbors with Yanni's mom in California. They learned to sail in Santa Cruz and still try to get out sailing when they can. Also thank you to Mike who told us that he doesn't sail but he is a skilled craftsman. So thank you again very, very much, Mike. And we also didn't hear from Elizabeth or Tygen, but thank you very much to those two. Again, thank you so much to everybody for all your support and We'll see you again ne next week.